Good morning, students. In the last video lecture, we are discussing about the real scalar fields and complex scalar fields. And the scalar field is nothing but a real entity, a single entity that can have real fields as well as complex fields. Real field implies that there will be a, a photon that will create a particle and, a, and an anti antiparticle. That's all. A single photon will create a single electron and a positron. So, at the end we could calculate the energy. The eigen energies of uh, the photon we could calculate. And we have quantized the fields and we have quantized the energies also. The energy that we obtained uh, was H bar omega n plus 1 by 2. So this is what uh, the energy of the photon we obtained. And for the complex fields, we could obtain the energies and we discussed about uh, the number of particles. It is not a single particle and this will have number of particles and which particle uh, the corresponding antiparticles that we do not know. So it, it may have a number of particles and we were uh, deriving the uh, equations for uh, the complex field complex field, and thereby we could obtain the energy values. These energy values are nothing but h bar omega n plus plus n minus plus 1. In all those uh, real field as well in complex field we could obtain the energy values through operators, through creation, annihilation operators. So this is what we discussed. And uh, the number of operators also very important. They are connected with the creation and annihilation operators. You have creation operator that will go from one state to upper state. An annihilation operator that will go state goes from one lower state. And these two operators, they are connected with number of operators. Number operators are denoted as NK and they are uh, related with AK dagger and AK. So your number operator is defined as AK dagger and AK. AK dagger stands for creation operator. So they all exist in K space. So that's why it's written as K. AK dagger. AK. Okay. They are all living in K space. Whereas in uh, linear harmonic oscillator which we studied already in quantum mechanics 1 that live that live lives in real space this is this one lives in k space okay this so that's the main difference then another thing is your nk and ak and your nk and ak ak dagger both both will not will will commute with each other that is nk will commute with ak as well nk will commute with ak dagger that means you can measure simultaneously. I repeat, NK, your NK and AK dagger will commute as well NK, AK also will commute with each other. Okay, it implies that you can measure simultaneously. So in Fox space, in which we have a, a lot of uh, operators will be there, creation operators, annihilation operators will be there. And these creation operators will increase the number. The number of particles will be increased by creation operator. Simultaneously, the number of operators, especially A, A, K, the annihilation operator will decrease the number of uh, particles. So one will increase and one will try to decrease. So that's why this is infinite. Number of particles are infinite in Fox space. So number of degrees of freedom, uncomfortable particles will be there. So, so however, this AK dagger and AK both will commute with NK. That means simultaneously you can measure. So AK, AK with NK as well NK with AK dagger, they will commute with each other simultaneously you can measure. Okay, so that's the main idea. So with this uh, introduction, we have we will start with the creation, annihilation and, non and number operators. As I said, creation, annihilation operators are closely related with number operators. They are related. Okay. So we know that the commutation relation for annihilation operator 
with the number of operators given by this equation so we know already so ak with nk is given by this expression and nk is given by ak dagger ak so you can substitute for nk ak dagger ak where nk is a number operator and we know the rule for commutation relation a comma bc can be written as a b with the commutation relation c plus b ac we know already we discussed earlier so this is the commutation rule a comma bc so like that we can expand this commutation relation exactly like this so this is commutation identity so we can write this one and we know that ak comma ak so we used in the real fields as well in scalar fields about the commutation rule which says that ak comma ak which is equal to zero whereas ak comma ak dagger equals del k k prime when k equals k prime del k k becomes one so we know already this this is equal to one and this is equal to zero so this commutation relation ak comma nk becomes nk becomes ak is it okay so ak comma nk becomes ak so we have this relation now similarly you can also compute uh, a dagger nk which is equal to minus ak dagger similarly okay this is for ak and this is for the creation operator this is for the annihilation operator similarly you can also derive using the same relation nk equals ak dagger ak and substitute here we can also get the same thing this will be minus ak dagger so this is your assignment okay just try this is your assignment and from equation 10.116 just now we derived ak comma nk which is equal to ak so ak comma nk is given by a comma b commutation that we do you ab minus ba so ab minus ba so we know already which is equal to ak so this is your ak we expanded this uh, commutation to ab comma minus ab minus b okay now nk ak which is equal to a k n k minus a k. So this equation can be written as exactly like this. Now this equation can be operated on uh, psi psi n of n k. Okay. So this e this equation operates on psi n k. So you are going to assume that this equation operates on psi n k. So n k a k operates on psi n k. That will give you a k n k minus a k operates on so n k so we can we can write uh, the expansion so this operates on psi n k and minus this operates on psi n k so we can write exactly like this okay any doubt okay this the first term operates on psi n k the second term operates on psi n k so this is given by this equation we know that the number operator so this is number operator okay number operator operates on uh, this operator okay this is your uh, amplitude operator which depends on usually which will depends on x comma t we know already and here it is nk number which is equal to eigen value with the operator so we know this eigen value equation very well so this is your number nk is your number eigen value eigen value means here it is a number this is an operator operates on the wave function will give you eigen value with a wave function we know already this eigen value equation earlier so so instead of nk psi nk nk psi nk you can write nk psi nk it's very simple idea okay now you can pull ak psi nk out so that will give you nk minus 1 so you are number operator operates on the wave function that will give you nk minus 1 with the operator okay now here here it is a single operator but look at here you have two operators are here this is annihilation operator both are combined together what we call this is eigen cut this is your eigen cut okay so this is your eigen cut see psi n of k and here also you have psi n k both are the same so what we call this is eigen cut suppose if they are they are different then we call this cut simply cut okay so here ak psi n of k together we call this as eigen cut so together we call this as eigen cut this is uh, annihilation eigen cut ak psi nk is an annihilation eigen cut and what is the answer eigen value 
it reduces by one value. See nk minus one. Here it is nk. Okay, we have not operated any ak or ak dagger, but here we have operated with ak. So ak is annihilation operator, destruction operator. Destruction operator will always reduce one value less. See the one value less. It will go to lower state, and also with the eigen value nk minus one it is there. Suppose we are going for ak dagger, and this equation will become nk plus one. So this will create. Okay, this will create one one step ahead. So this will become n k plus one. So your eigen value will increase by one. There, here the eigen value decreases by one. We are going to operate depending on the operators. Depending on the operators, either annihilation means it will decrease by one. Creation means this will increase by one. So it implies that equation ten point one to one. It uh, implies that psi n k is an eigen cut off n k with eigen value n k. Okay, so a k psi n k together is called as eigen cut. See, together it is called as eigen cut of n k with eigen value lowered by one. So it implies that the number of particles in the kth state is decreased by one. So it decreases by one. Hence, we can consider a k is an annihilation or destruction operator for the state of the field in the similar way we can also derive for the creation operator so suppose we are going to use uh, the eigen cut a dagger psi n of k then this becomes uh, nk plus 1 so it implies that this is your eigen cut together this is your eigen cut for creation operator so look at this is your eigen cut for the creation operator and it, it increases by the eigen value increases by 1 It decreases by one. So the above equation 10.122 implies that psi n k is an eigen cut of n k with eigen value n k, and this is where eigen cut of n k with eigen value is increased by one. So it's very simple. So we have learned creation operator and annihilation operator along with number operators. It's very important. As I said earlier, both will commute with each other simultaneously. You can measure. Okay, you can measure. That's a logic. It implies that the number of particles in the k state is increased by one. Hence, we can consider a dagger k. A k dagger is a creation or a construction operator for the state k of the field. So, mathematically, we can write for this is for one particle. This is for number of particles we can write, and this state is given. This uh, eigenvalue equation for annihilation operator is given by a k operates of operate. Operates on the number operator that will give you root of n k. Already we learnt about uh, in uh, linear harmonic oscillator itself. We learnt this is root n k and this is for root n n plus one there. Here it is n k plus one root of n k plus one. And this is for the creation operator and this is for the annihilation operator. Very very important thing is the state decreases by one here. The state increases by one here. It's so very very important. Okay, so now this is not eigen cut. This is cut. Okay, this is not eigen cut. See, look at uh, the cuts on both sides. They are not equal. When you are going to operate any annihilation operator on cut, that will give you eigen value n k root n k with cut. Mean it down. And uh, and the general state beta for the field is given by. So this is uh, taken from uh, both uh, statistics. And this is number of particles, and this is for the general state vector of the field is given by. So this field is given by this one from we have taken from both statistics. Okay, so this represents vacuum state. And what if this a k dagger operates on zero? So vacuum state. So this will rises by root one. See here, you have a dagger operates on k will give you root of n plus one. What what is this zero? So zero plus one that will give you one. So root one. So from zero state to first state, it will go to first state. So n plus one is here, first state. Suppose we are going for first state, and this will go to second state with eigen value one plus one under root, under root. We will go for the second one. It will go to the third state. See third state. What is the eigen value? Root of 
2 plus 1. So which is nothing but row 3 goes on. Similarly for the annihilation operators. I have written for the creation operator. Similarly one can also write for the annihilation operator. It's very simple idea. Any doubt? General state of the field is given by this expression. So this ket is given by this expression. <coughs> the matrix elements for AK and AK dagger uh, are uh, represented by a matrix element for AK is given by half diagonal elements. Root 1, root 2, root 3, which we studied already in, in linear harmonic oscillator in quantum mechanics one year earlier. So this AK, there, there's a mistake here. This is AK dagger. So that's a mistake here. This is AK dagger. Okay. So this is AK, this is AK dagger. So AK dagger is given by this expression. Okay. Any doubt? And for the number operator, NK equals number operator will be see here uh, diagonal elements. And AK and AK dagger, they are all uh, not diagonal elements, off diagonal elements. See? See, number operator NK is given by diagonal elements. See here? Diagonal elements 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay? And NK and EK, NK and EK both will have same kits. Eigen, eigen sets, both will have same eigen sets. That means simultaneously we can measure both the things. Mk and Ek both will have same same eigen sets, same sets. So it implies that you can measure Nk and Ek simultaneously. Also, it brings out the fact that whenever n n exists, corresponding e will be there. For n equals zero you can have e equals h bar omega by 2. For n equals 1, you can have 3 by 2 h bar omega. For n equals 2, you will have 5 by 2 h bar omega. See, corresponding value. So, what we call this as joint eigenstate, simultaneous eigenstates. So, the Hamiltonian for the operator is given by. So, now we study creation operator, annihilation operator, number operator and corresponding energy. All are related with this equation. See here. Your Hamiltonian is given by um, AK dagger AK EK. What is AK dagger AK which is something but number operator. See all four are related now. Okay. So which is nothing but your NK EK. So the set of NK states forms indeed a complete and orthonormal basis in N space. Since the states NK are joint orthonormal eigenstates of Hamiltonian that is energy and NK both will be represented as infinite diagonal matrices. So your NK also will have been diagonal matrices as well as your energy also will be in diagonal elements. Okay. This is 1 by 2, this will be your 3 by 2 for the energy, this will be your 5 by 2 dot 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 n and h power omega will be outside. Okay. So both NK and EK will have diagonal elements whereas AK and AK dagger will be off diagonal elements which we already learnt in uh, linear harmonic oscillator area. So both will have simultaneous eigenstates. Okay. So this is uh, the explanation for your creation, annihilation and the number operators. So now we will go for the last slide which says about Fox space. So we learnt in uh, first conversation and the material particles and all those things we learnt associated with the waves. They live in Gilbert space which are finite. So we know already which are finite. So suppose we want to take uh, any system, this system will have finite particles. Correspondingly, we have also calculated uh, the discrete energy values. So they they live in Gilbert space. Quantum mechanics 1, we learned in quantum mechanics 1, we learned thoroughly about the first quantization. So it lives in linear vector space, it lives in Gilbert space. So we know about all those things. It is finite, countable. Whereas in Fox space, this is just the extension of your Gilbert space. This is infinite degrees of freedom, infinite particles will be there, uncountable. Because if photon will create uh, uh, a particle and antiparticle and also annihilate with another photon. So like that we have number of photons will create number of particles and antiparticles. So number of photons and num number of uh, particles and antiparticles will annihilate, will give you number of photons. So it's going on. The process is like cascade. 
like exact like um, plenty of particles will be created at the same time so we can say that we can't count it so number of degrees of freedom exists number of particles exists so that's why we always go for box space this is just the extension of gilbert space so this is uncountable particles so box space so creation operators annihilation operators both they exi- exist so when you want to when you want, we, are, we are going to use uh, creation operator the particles will go on increase suppose we are going to use uh, annihilation particles the particle will goes on decrease okay so this is uh, creation and annihilation so we can't judge that it's not a fixed value we can't say it is not a fixed value so it is uncountable ones okay so an important difference between the first and second quantization is that first one applies in the gilbert space whereas the second one applies in the box space so this is countable this is uncountable okay this is a finite basis this is infinite basis in which we have creation and annihilation operator operators exist infinite okay they will create infinite number of photons so that also infinite the wave function has a value in the gilbert space here we are talking about creation and annihilation operators their values in box space okay the wave function probability amplitude exists in gilbert space here simply we are talking about amplitude amplitude of the wave which depends on both r comma t also this will have creation and annihilation operators have values in fox space gilbert space is a vector space in which each location in the space has a vector attached to it and the basis of the space or eigen states of the hermitian operator whereas in fox space the eigen states represent the variable number of particles as space basis so this is the difference between uh, real space and k space or otherwise we can say that this is this is in the gilbert space the another one is in the box space so any doubt so we will start today we started with creation annihilation operators and also connected with the number of operators and they are all related and we ended up with the box space box space in which creation annihilation operators they they have numerous values uncountable values okay we'll start today today so we'll see in the next class thank you students